So this is a motherboard I bet you have never heard of. This is by the company called Colorful, and you might have seen some other things, you know, out there. They do some PC parts, and uh, this is one of their latest motherboards. This is the CVN Z690D5. So Z690 motherboard for Intel, 13th gen and 12th gen. D5, DDR5, a gaming frozen. So very interesting design and uh, I'm wondering what's it like? Is it worth purchasing, you know? What's the price? What features do we get? Let's have a look. So first of all, the um, first picture here on the motherboard here, they have messed something up. They should have used a vector image for this because they have used a small image and pulled it out and then the actual picture quality is horrendous on this you can li literally count the pixels here it's very 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 pixelated if you can see like around diagonals everything what else are they offering here over voltage protection anti-high temperature interesting anti-static electricity anti-thunder electricity anti-humidity electricity so there's some interesting stuff here as well thermal shock tests aging test aging test up to 48 hours to ensure reliability aging test is that what we're calling it now Full load test, vibration tests. First of all, looks like the motherboard's gonna be very, very interesting style here. Okay, there's actually foam underneath the back here as well of the motherboard to make sure that you're not like bending or getting any, any SMDs off from the back of the motherboard. Very good, let's put the motherboard on the sides. Then underneath we have the instruction manuals. Then we're getting, ooh, three white SATA cables. That's very, very nice. Then we have Wi-Fi uh, antennas. And interestingly, this time you don't have like any cables. You literally screw them in the back of the motherboard, but they do give you white ones, which is pretty cool. Then we have this one RGB um, converter from the motherboard's usual five volt to, I think this is Corsair cable, if I'm not mistaken, or one of the brands, you know. There's three pins in here and then different three pins in here. One USB adapter extension for some reason. USB 2.0 extension. If you need to know which one's the five volt, I don't know why. Then we have the front panel connector, which is nice. So you can literally um, plug everything into this tiny connector and then actually connect this one to the motherboard and some standoff screws there. So then here's the motherboard. And we've got this kind of silver and copper and white theme going on here. The white motherboard PCB has a very, very strong green tint to it. As you can see, compared to the motherboard here, there's a big color difference. This is a bit more magenta and this is very, very green. So if I take a piece of paper like this one here, you can see both of them are actually off-white. The motherboard box is very magenta and the PCB is very, very green. So here's the socket, the LGA 1700 socket, as you can see. Let's install a CPU. This is a 13600K there. There we go. Let's pop it in there. let's look at the parts around the motherboard so we've got two eps connectors there one eight and then one four and interestingly if you look very close to these connectors here they are not actually lined up perfectly the eight pin is slightly behind the four pin not a big deal but still something you'd notice then we've got a cpu fan then we've got a chassis fan so no cpu optional fan as what i can see from here the chassis fan one 12 volt rgb connector aio pump header that is in a very weird place why is it so far from the AI, like the actual CPU. It would be much more useful if the AIO pump was somewhere around here or somewhere up here, but now we have to route the cable around the RAM. 24 pin motherboard connector, USB 3.0, so only five gigabit speeds there. We've got little Q LEDs to see what issues you might have during the boot or post process. Front panel USB-C, which is 3.2 gen one, so five gigabits in speed as well. We've got SATA ports there six SATA ports, another 12 volt connector for RGB there. We've got front panel headers. Then we've got a five volt RGB header in the bottom there. So one of them in there and then another one there. So two 12 volts and then two five volts underneath there. Another chassis fan. And then you can switch the RGBs on and off on the motherboard with this little 
jumper cable or plug or little plastic thing. If it's left and right connected, then it's RGB off and on. And then on the other side, it is off. Clear seamless button there as well. Then JBIOS header. Then you've got USB 2.0 headers in here. COM header, ESPI header. And then another chassis fan. And then we've got the front panel audio here. So let's have a look at the M.2 heat sinks. Looks like we've got four slots in here. So let's undo the screws here. Okay, we've got the heat sink and thermal pad only on the top side. PCA Gen 4 slots from the front. Secondary is exactly the same. We've got this thermal pad in here. Interesting, the first slot actually has some kind of quick release mechanism as well around it. Not quite as good as ASUS and Gigabytes or MSI's, but it works. That's all that matters. Secondary M.2 slot here. And we've already got the uh, standoff and screw installed there as well. And then the third and the fourth slot. Here we've got some more thermal pads. Slightly different, actually thicker thermal pads than the first and secondary slot, which is interesting. They're probably trying to make up for the difference of the you know metal they've actually produced. I don't know why. So you've got four slots, which is very, very good. All of them are Gen 4 speeds, but the screws do come off. So you do have to be careful when installing it. So don't lose the screws. So here's the expansion slots. The first slot is PCIe Gen 5 slot uh, x16 or by 16 slot then this slot over here is pca gen 3 slot and x1 slot this one here is pca gen 4 x4 slot so even though we've got pins all the way they're only x4 slots so if you want to run the secondary gpu in here you're probably not going to be doing it on this motherboard but for some expansion cards and so on pretty good and then another gen 3 x1 slot on the bottom there we also have four dim slots over here they're all gen 5 so let's install some ddr5 so this is from team group this is team group Delta, T-Force Delta, and this goes up to 64 mega transfers per second, which is super, super fast. Alrighty, there is a bit of an RGB action going on around here as well. A little bit of RGB going around. Colorful, very nice. What the heck does that mean? Colorful, very nice. Very nice. It's best if we don't put any text on it. Oh, look at that. I've installed this M.2. The other way as you can see dual m.2 it's upside down and here's the little uh, fighter jet on it on the back of the motherboard we don't have any um, anything there there is some leds in there in here that's probably gonna they're probably gonna light up this bit here that will shine through the motherboard we'll see that in a moment ow sharp so this one here will light up i'm not sure if that one will do but we'll see. So then the IO of the motherboard, we've got some audio ports here and we've got quite a bit here. As you can see, we've got the full set all, all in here. We've got Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.1. Just double checking this. This is not 6E and not 5.2 Bluetooth. Wi-Fi 6 and 5.1. Then you've got USB ports. There's uh, two USB ports in here, USB 2.0. There's 2.5 gig LAN here, which is very good. Nice to see that. We've got some USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, which we have here. So this USB type A port is actually 10 gigabits in speed. And this type C is actually Gen 2 X2 slot. So it is 20 gigabits in speed. So you do get one super fast port in there. And then you got a USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports which are five gigabits in here so all the blue ones there so five ten twenty gigabits in speed you've got the bios flashback button there which is nice to see you don't have to uh, you know you can update your bios in here as you can see you use, have to use this part here it is actually integrated io shield which is nice they have screwed this screw in slightly too much so it's bending the back io a little bit and then you've got one display port and one hdmi port there. So here's what I want to do. I want to check into the BIOS of this motherboard because I haven't looked into, this is the first time I'm checking this bi uh, motherboard out and I want to see what the BIOS is like. Like, is there any interesting settings there? Is this user friendly or is this going to be some old fashioned, you know, Windows 95 type of situation there? So I'm going to just install this Fantex Glacier 1 set 
and a little thermal pad because I can't be bothered cleaning up. Alrighty. Let's get this in here. Interesting, the motherboard holes aren't as uh, kind of precise as some of the other maybe more well-known motherboards, which in a PC case doesn't really matter. But in here, because they are very, very like meticulously drilled holes in here, usually you can just pop the motherboard in. Here we had a little bit of resistance. What we'll do is we'll get these in here. Okay, we're gonna put this to um, AIO pump header in the back there and as you can see this is very very tight look at this that's why what i mean the the header is in the wrong place like how are you going to have this over now here you can if you want to have tubes in that side this is ridiculous i'll put it into a cpu fan there that will do as well it will cool the cpu down enough to get it going that in that in cooling don't need a gpu for now just to look in the bios let's see if it there we go jump to cables we are on. Alrighty, here we are. It's gonna go to BIOS because I don't have this. We are in the BIOS. This is interesting uh, situation going on around here. So obviously we don't have any boot devices. There is easy OC mode here. We have default, performance, adjust the settings for the best performance and thus the computer will run faster than in other modes in which gamers and people who are eager for high performance lay emphasis. Note, this mode may consume extra power. So you've got default, performance mode, interesting. You've got energy saver mode there as well. This is nice though. So the easy mode here is quite all right. We can see XMP, enable, CPU temperature is all right. Motherboard temperature is fine. As you can see, everything is fine. Let's have a look at what is the OC settings here. Okay, so this motherboard is completely different than what I've usually seen. Uh, let's go advanced. Are we on advanced yet? Okay, OC. CPU frequency boost. Frequency boost in wattages. What's going on here? We've got all the turbo modes and all that enabled. Memory settings. All your timings and la di da voltage settings offset so you do have some overclocking features for people who want to see that advanced cpu configuration you do have support for internal graphics as well obviously we're using it right now just so you know some motherboards don't actually have support for integrated graphics cards some of the msi high-end motherboards for example don't even have built-in power delivery for the graphics kind of you know parts of the cpu so it just has no power to there because it's very much overclocking and that's and no one would use the integrated graphics there anyway but you know if you're like a creator and you want to buy a high-end motherboard it's nice to have uh, uh, integrated graphics power as well because that's very very good for a lot of creative tasks so there we go i mean it's simple bios it does work it's uh, understandable it actually they have put some effort into making it look like it's decent thing you can see my 13600k installed there and 32 gigs of ram and it's, it's all here what you usually need. Perhaps even better for some people who are not so knowledgeable about these things. Simpler things, you know, let's put performance mode on, boom, go, consumes more power a bit, but it just all works. Okay, here's the thing. I've done like a little bit of a Google trying to find this motherboard. I can't find it literally anywhere. So to comment on the pricing of this, oops, I have no idea how much this costs. Now, as a creator, I would probably never buy this. Just because to me, reliability is very, very important. And for me to see this being sold nowhere in the local shops, nowhere in the biggest shops, nowhere, it raises a few alarming kind of, you know, bells for me. But why do I think this is still very, very good to have is competition. We need more competition from companies. The more we produce competitive things, the better this is for our end users. And that's why I think Colorful, please keep going. Please produce more motherboards like this. And to see a motherboard with like a copper design like this one here, I haven't seen a lot of motherboards out there. In fact, I don't know any motherboards that look like that. So I'm very happy to see that we need different motherboards that look different to still give us all the features in that side of things i think this is very good 
The only thing is, where to get it from, I don't know. Maybe by the time I've uploaded the video, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. I'll try to find some links so that you can find more information. I'll put at least the Colorfuls website there so they can see that. But literally no idea where you can, you can buy this from. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Thanks guys for watching and oh, dot, 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 dot. What is this? That was a bit of Estonian coming through there, by the way. If you want to build yourself great the PC, then check out the build guides in the description below. There's four videos in there. Pick the one that's closest to your budget and you can, you know, just configure it to fit your budget. Upgrades, downgrades, everything so you can get the best performance PC for you and you won't spend any extra money on parts that don't give you any performance or just some nice things that don't give you any performance. Just the best performance PC that's down there for you. Thanks guys for watching. Bye-bye.